In this video, we're going to work on configuring FarmBot to connect to the internet and to our web app account, and then work our way through the setup wizard. To begin, click the setup wizard button located in the main navigation. Enter your order information, FarmBot model, and ensure you have completed the full mechanical assembly. Then, manually move your FarmBot about 150 millimeters away from all of the hard stops. In other words, position the gantry partway along the tracks, position the cross slide partway across the gantry main beam, and position the Z-axis halfway down. Next, we're going to install FarmBot OS. FarmBot OS is the custom operating system that runs on the Raspberry Pi and needs to be installed on the micro SD card. You can download the version of FarmBot OS for your FarmBot model from the setup wizard or from os.farm.bot. To install FarmBot OS onto the micro SD card, you'll need to download and use a tool called Raspberry Pi Imager. Note that drag and drop will not work. You must use the Raspberry Pi Imager to prepare the micro SD card. Remove the micro SD card from the FarmBot's Raspberry Pi and connect it to your computer. Install the FarmBot OS.image file using the Raspberry Pi Imager and the instructions in the setup wizard. Then insert the micro SD card back into the FarmBot's Raspberry Pi. Now that you've installed FarmBot OS, power up your FarmBot and wait about three minutes. Once FarmBot is booted, it will create a Wi-Fi network in the format of FarmBot-1234. Connect your phone or laptop to this network to start configuration. Once connected, the configuration utility should automatically pop up, much like when connecting to an airport or hotel Wi-Fi network. Follow the on-screen instructions to input your home Wi-Fi credentials, as well as your web app account's email and password. After completing configuration, FarmBot will reboot and try to connect to the internet and the FarmBot web app using the provided credentials. As FarmBot reboots, pay attention to the green and blue LEDs on top of the electronics box for Genesis kits and in the top right corner of the FarmDuino board for Express kits. If the blue light is solid on, it means the FarmBot is connected and working. If the blue light is blinking or off, it means FarmBot needs configuration still or is having trouble connecting. When FarmBot first connects to the web app, the green LED should blink quickly, indicating that FarmBot is syncing resources. Once it is fully synced, it will turn solid on. Meanwhile, the red e-stop button LED on both Genesis and Express kits should be solid on once FarmBot is unlocked and ready. Use your phone or laptop to connect to your home Wi-Fi again, and then log into the web app to see if FarmBot comes online. The process can take about three minutes. Once FarmBot is connected, you'll begin to see log messages as well as a job for the FarmBot boot process. Wait a few more minutes for FarmBot to complete the boot up process. If FarmBot doesn't come online, check the setup wizard and documentation for troubleshooting tips. Once the boot process is complete, the real-time and network tabs of the connectivity pop-up should show all green indicators. If you are having trouble connecting FarmBot to a school or corporate network, this is almost always because of the IT department blocking the ports that FarmBot needs. Please have your network administrator review our IT security professionals documentation page and open the necessary ports for FarmBot to connect. FarmBot requires the following ports to be open on your network. With FarmBot Online, proceed through the rest of the setup wizard steps to configure the app, your FarmBot's motor and access settings, the manual controls, the camera, and FarmBot's tools. If you get stuck on a setup wizard step, try the suggested troubleshooting steps and refer to the documentation for more information. If you get really stuck, you can provide a detailed description of what you need help with and our support team will get in touch. Note that support is only available for full FarmBot kits purchased from FarmBot Inc. and is not available for DIY builders. Once you've completed all the steps of the setup wizard, you'll be ready to start using your FarmBot. See you in the next video.